Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Christine and this is Christine Says A Lot. Today I am continuing the tutorial mini-series Sewing the Tegan Dress by Violet Field Threads. I am sewing the Tegan to donate to a charitable project being led by Madi of Madi Sews where the sewing community is coming together to sew dresses for impoverished girls around the world. Last year, this event raised over 890 dresses that were sewn for the girls. I'm going to link Madi's information in the description box below if you're interested in participating in this charity event. This is running for the entire month of September and it is really a worthwhile cause. So in my previous tutorials, I have demonstrated how to add a neckband that includes fabric ties for closing the back of the dress, how to install a very neat keyhole opening in a dress. It looks just as good from the inside as it does on the outside, no raw edges, and how to insert an elastic waist casing. This is going to give the dress really nice shape. So the bodice is complete and I'm moving on to my final tutorials today. I am going to be showing you how to insert pockets into a side seam and how to understitch. To prepare for this next step, I have cut out four pocket pieces. I used the template that is on Violet Field Threads website and I'm going to include the link to where you can find these pocket pieces and it also includes a blog tutorial on how to insert pocket pieces. So I have cut out two sets so that means a total of four. They're mirror image so that they will match up and I want to make sure that my pockets match and that I have them looking how I want. So I have surged all around my pocket pieces and I have surged both sides of my skirt. I'm going to move the camera down so you can get a closer look at what I'm doing. I have my skirt on my cutting mat and the cutting mat I will say makes this super quick and easy. I have my pocket piece I am going to be sewing the straight edge of my pocket piece along the straight edge of the side seam of my skirt. I want to place my pocket two inches from the top of the skirt with right sides together. So I just line up this pocket to where it is two inches from the top of the skirt. If you do not have a cutting mat, you can easily do this with a ruler or a measuring tape. So I'm going to line this up. I want you to take note of the pocket bag and where it's facing. This is the curve of the pocket bag and it is pointing down to the inside of the dress towards the hem. That is gonna make it the correct way for the hand to enter into the pocket and have room. So if you can't remember this technique, just think about how your hand would go into the pocket. You'll notice if I were to put it in the other direction, it's just not going to work well. So I'm placing the pocket two inches from the top, right sides together, and I am going to stitch at a quarter of an inch all the way down to attach this at the side seam. Now let me show you one I have already attached on the other side of the skirt. I have attached the pocket. Here's my seam allowance. Right sides together. It's pointed in the correct direction. My next step is going to be to understitch the pocket. And what the understitching does, it keeps this pocket from creeping out of the skirt and looking sloppy. It just really makes a nice, neat finish. 
and just take seconds so it's not a step to skip. How to do this is you take your pocket and you press it away from the skirt and I'm going to hit it with an iron and get a nice crisp press here. Then I'm going to understitch and they call it understitching because you are stitching under the seam line you just sewed. I'm going to be stitching my pocket to the seam allowance, not to the main body of the skirt. So I'm going to come very close to this seam allowance, but I'm going to be under it on the pocket, a different color thread so that you can see it more easily. I'm going to sew all the way down and that will keep the pocket tucked inside where it belongs. I have completed understitching my pocket. This bright orange gold color is where I have understitched. My original stitching line where I attached the pocket is right here. It's very hard to see because it blends in so well with this purplish blue fabric. But I've understitched all along here on all four of my pocket pieces. So the next step will be sewing the skirt side seams together. And I'm going to take my skirt piece and I'm going to match them up. Right sides together. This is the top. And I'm going to pin them. I'm going to match my side seams. I'm going to match my pocket pieces. I'm going to pin them starting at the top of my side seam. And I'm going to go around my pocket. and then down to the bottom of the hem. I'm going to leave this section open because of course that's where you're going to insert your hand or the little girl will on the pocket. So let me get these pinned and then I will stitch them up. The pattern directions call for a half inch seam allowance so that's what I'll be using. I've pinned both sides together, pocket bags, everything lined up very nice and neat. Now I'm going to go over to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew each side together starting at the top, going around the pocket bags and down. I will reinforce at both ends to give a little bit of strength to the pockets and I will be sewing with a half inch seam allowance. I am back from the sewing machine. I have sewn with a half inch seam allowance, the side seams all around the pocket, and while I was at the sewing machine and I had the memory crease, I went ahead and sewed my hem. So all that's left to do to get this looking nice and neat is to give a little press so that the pocket looks great. I love a pocket. Are you team pocket like me? I have a lot of gathering to do. This is a very full skirt. I'm going to gather it up, attach it to the bodice, and then my Tegan will be complete. Before I mail my dress to the Dress a Girl ambassador, I'm gonna take a photo of it. I will post it to Instagram. I'm gonna tag Madi at Madi Sews for Curves, and I'm going to use the hashtag Project Dresser Girl 2022 so that Maddie can keep count of the dresses. Let me know in the box below if 
you are doing some charitable sewing, whether it's Project Dress a Girl or another charity, I'd love to hear about it. If you found this and the other tutorials helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would give the video a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and that you find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye. Thank you.